Hey guys, this is Coach B with Coach B's Gaming. Some of you know me as Tovo from State 596, as well as three states before then, but that's my most reputable one is, uh, for everyone to know me. So, today we're going to be talking about S3 heroes. We're going to dissect them and tell you exactly what heroes to get. So, like, the three heroes that you absolutely must have. And then we're going to have another tier of what heroes are also good long term, that are not a bad investment. Some heroes that are good for S3, and then some heroes that you complete, you should completely skip. So we're going to go hero by hero. Uh, I'm going to go to the ones that I went for first. Get kind of different from other videos where I went to the ones I skipped first. The most important heroes to get for S3 are the sisters, which is Vanguard, Farseer, and Countdown. These three ladies are phenomenal. They will beat literally every single APC, whether it's shooters, fighters, vehicles, from S1, base heroes, S2, and then the rest of the S3. They will beat everything. Then when you get into S4, they will beat everything again. They are that good. Okay? Do not go through S3 without getting the sisters. If you do, you honestly have set yourself back pretty significantly until Season X. Um, you're not going to be able to beat anybody without the sisters unless you have the major uh, Anastasia, Panther, and Ivanov combo. That's the second best APC. But I, for one, will always go with the sisters. Um, they will, again, they will beat everything. So the next hero that uh, I will talk about is one that I also got, but I didn't necessarily level up because of my strategy. So if you've watched S1 and S2, you, know, you obviously saw that I talked about Ivanov, like Panther, Major, and then Ivanov. That's the second best APC. So for those who know me, I am a smart spender. I go for whatever will beat everything that I that is attainable. I go for the best APC that I can get that will last me a long time. If I have the sisters, it is not worth the investment or the money to try to get Major Panther and Ivanov. Obviously, when you put those two head to head, Ivanov, that combo, it's going to beat the sisters about 60% of the time. However, sisters will beat everything else better than Ivanov's combo will. Okay? They are a more balanced APC. So that is why I prefer the sisters over them. So I do have Major Anastasia. I do have Duplicate. And the only reason why I went for her is because she's good in some Season X combos. So, for example, her with Cami and all of them, there's some good APCs with Major. So I did invest to get her as well. I just haven't leveled her up because I don't necessarily use her because I have my vehicle with sisters. Okay? So she is definitely... Uh, a worth the investment. The next one will be Wings of Liberty. Wings of Liberty is not a bad hero. So uh, there are some APC later on where he's a pretty decent. Um, he's in some decent APCs, but shooter heroes. A lot of people, a lot of videos will talk about how shooter heroes are the best APC in the game. I strongly disagree. Um, when you get to the later, when you get to season three and season four, sisters beat everything. They beat shooters. Doesn't matter that shooters are supposed to beat vehicles. Sisters will beat them. Major and uh, Ivanov's combo will beat the shooters for season three, season four as well. Even when you even when you get hummingbird, like Commissar is trash. He's terrible. So um, vehicles are still going to beat shooters. When you get to season X. Now you're going to start getting a lot of shooter APC that will be vehicles. But here, guess what? The best APC in the game. You're going to get Heaven Redemption. You're going to get those type heroes that are going to beat everybody. So shooters, all the videos that say shooters the best APC in the game are, it is false. It is vehicles. I know shooters are supposed to beat vehicles, but vehicles have the best heroes in the game, hands down. Okay? So... With that said, Wings of Liberty is not a terrible investment. I personally skipped him. I don't think he's worth the time. I think he's a waste of tickets. Okay? So I advise you to skip him. The next one. So Tech Priestess is the only hero that I skipped 
that is hands down the best hero in the game all the way past season four. Now, you're probably wondering, well, you're sitting here telling me all these things about who we should go for and what we should go, we should always go for the best heroes that last a long time. You're right, we should. However, Tech Priestess in S3 is not that good. I mean, she as a hero is good, but the APCs that she's in are not that good. When you get to S4 and you put Tech Priestess with Venom and say Viscount, it's a good little APC. However, sisters can ram through it. Okay? You're, you're going to be able to defend with Tech Priestess, but you're not going to be able to necessarily beat a lot of things with it. Um, it's great if you're defending the launch center and you're obviously using your defense uh, defense APC and you're leveling it up. She's great to have. However, I'm not a big spender. So I used a long-term strategy to get her. So I'm going to show you what I did real quick. And this is a strategy that I would advise everybody to do that uh, will pay off in the long run. So when I go to my items, I'm going to show you something. So I got a, a decent amount of coins from last season. If I can find where they are. Doomsday coins, where are you? There we go. I got, I got 445,000 Doomsday coins. Okay, so I have that. And then obviously I have a bunch of uh, hero tokens that I haven't used. I've got like 4,000 of them. So what I plan on doing, since all you really need for Tech Priestess is her 8th skill. You don't even really need her Awaken, but I'm going to go for her Awaken. And I'm going to skip her 7th hero completely. I'm going to use the token shop to get one copy of Tech Priestess. I waited for SX because that's when she's really, 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 really good. It's SX when you combine her with Canonist and those other heroes. So I wanted to get her the token shop with one. And then what I'm going to do, when you go over to your uh, Doomsday Lab, once the Doomsday Shop opens... I don't know if it's open yet. For our, we're in Eden, so it is open. When you go here, you have recruitment vouchers. So I waited, and I'm going to get uh, recruitment tokens for S3 heroes to get one uh, more for Tech Priestess. So that will give me her eighth skill. So now I have tech priests and everything that I need in order to do those really good APCs. We did not have the greatest season for um, Eden Rising, which was season 4. So I don't have as many tokens as I would like for this particular base. Um, so we actually got the lowest rewards. Because obviously for those who play the game, we had Chinese alliances and literally the top you know, 10 Chinese alliances all formed 3 super guilds. And they just buoyed everybody else. So fortunately, that, that part of the game is starting to change. So I didn't get as many tokens as I would like. But this is my long-term strategy for um, for uh, Tech Priestess. So I'm getting her just like I wanted to. But I'm not having to waste 300 recruitment tickets to get her. So yes, it kind of hurts me in the short term. Because I didn't have her for S4 for the mixed APC. Which is Venom Walker, Tech Priestess, and Hummingbird. But again, sisters can mow through that APC, assuming that APC doesn't have Bane Blade. So, and obviously the number of people who have full Bane Blades, it, it's slim to nine. Sisters are still the best APC, in my opinion. Um, mixed APC with Bane Blade is very great for defense. It will beat the sisters. But, I mean, we've done hundreds and hundreds of tests to show the sisters still stand the test of time. So that was my strategy with Tech Priestess. So... Getting back to the other heroes, I told you the sisters are the best. Uh, Major Anastasia is a solid investment that you would get. And then uh, Liberty, a wing to Liberty, he's whatever. Tech Priest is a solid. Now, you're wondering, well, how do I get all these heroes when they're in two different banners? So what I personally do is I save my tickets until the, it's the three sisters banner. I get it until I have at least three duplicates 
of one hero and then I stop. I don't continue pulling. I know so many people who will get like one vanguard and then they'll get like nine countdowns. Never let yourself get to that point. Just get to the point to where you have three of each. Hopefully that's what happened to me. I managed to max all of them without any duplicates. Um, but that's your strategy. So wait for that three sisters banner. Get to where you have three of them. And once you get three of them, and if you still have, if you still need some more duplicates, some other ones, use it in that last hero banner when there's all six heroes to try to get some extra ones. Or hopefully you can get some in your rewards for Doomsday at the end of the season. So that's in that last six uh, hero banner. That's when you might pick up a, a random tech priestess or a major Anastasia or whatever. So that's my advice for the ones who are not huge spenders. Go for the sisters banner. Get the sisters. That's your highest priority. And then you can use a little bit of leftover tickets for that last six euro banner. Um, ideally, I would typically just go for the sisters and try to get the rest of them through tokens. Um, or the, uh, the rewards for Eden Rising, which is the following season for S4. You can get them in the Doomsday Shop. Or you can do what I'm doing with the Tech Priestess. Like Wings, the fact that I skipped him, whatever. I'm never going to use him. Major Anastasia, uh, I didn't go for her. I got Major Anastasia through Doomsday Rewards. Okay, so she's going to be great long term, but she's not an investment for me right now. Right, it, I'm sticking with the sisters right now. So that's what I would do for S3. Sisters, 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 sisters. After that, you're going to have Major Anastasia, and you can pair her with Panther and Ivanov, or you can wait and uh, get Caesar, uh, Major Anastasia, and then uh, Ivanov. So hopefully you learned a bit. Uh, I, I try to give some advice that you typically don't see in other videos. If you like the video, please like it. Um, please subscribe to the channel. And if you have any comments, feel free to comment at the bottom. So have a good day, guys.